Hey guys, I got my uh, trusty Starbucks coffee mug. Cup of uh, Keurig coffee. This is uh, just regular old uh, Folgers morning blend light roast with uh, Carolyn's Irish uh, cream liqueur. Kind of like a Bailey's cream. About 15% alcohol in it. I drink it every day. It helps keep me strong. Mmm. All right, so um, this faded label, I don't know how, uh, I mentioned something that TP20 must have printed up himself and then stuck in with, stuck on with some masking tape, but we're going to take that off. This is a package from Mr. TP20. Uh, he goes by Tyler. And, uh, yeah, took off most of it, I guess. It doesn't matter. I'm going to open up from the back set anyway. So he had it. He rated me on the last package I sent him that he bought off me, the Classic Monsters. I'm going to rate him on this one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, TP. I haven't seen the inside yet, but uh, the outside I'm going to give a C because uh, it's a pretty chintzy envelope. It's just a plain old paper envelope. It's not a bubble, it's not a bubble wrap type envelope. Um, so I'm going to give it a C on outside package choices. And... Um, We'll see what the inside's like. I see he's got some more protection on the inside. That's cool. Oh my goodness, he wrote a novel. All right, this is uh, this is the letter. I'm gonna. Uh, he uh, he writes dated 11:22. Hello, anonymous person by the name of Dean of DVD. Yeah, my name's not Dean, by the way. I know a lot of people um, have either asked me in in private messages or. Uh, or other things. Um, he says, "Ha ha!" I'm, he says, "Oh, how are you?" Ha ha! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But in all seriousness, I do know your real name, or do I? Well, I have no idea. You don't tell me what it is, but you address the envelope to Dean of DVD. So, if you do know my real name, I don't know. It's not a. It's not a huge secret. It's just I tend to. I don't mind people calling me Dean. It's kind of cool, I think, because they people enough people call me that. Um, and a lot of people that I really like on YouTube call me that. So to change it now seems almost like, you know, why? I mean, Dean is a legitimate name. When I picked the name Dean of DVD, though, I was thinking like the Dean of a college. I used to be the, the assistant Dean of a, of a college um, in an earlier career. Uh, so I was thinking like, you know, the Dean is like, you know, somebody who's like, but an expert, but, you know, um, Kind of like the Duke of Earl, the Dean of DVD. It was that kind of a thought I was giving it to it. Anyway, I'm sticking with Dean. Um, you know, if, you, if somebody really wants to know my first name, I'd be happy to tell you in a private message. But for a lot of you, I think you're just as happy calling me Dean, and I'll answer to it. So on YouTube anyway, if you meet me on the street and call me Dean, I'll, I won't answer to it. But uh, here's the rest of the letter. Anyway, as requested, here's the Blu-ray Digibook edition of All the President's Men. I hope the condition is fine with you, then try to take care of it as much as possible. Well, we shall see. I'll give you the rating in a little bit. Typically, I'm not into political stuff or stories about journalists. However, I find the new movie to be very enjoyable. Well, I am actually into that whole um, <clears throat> scene. I remember Nixon. I remember the whole Watergate thing. And I certainly uh, have an interest in the film. I've never seen the film before. But I certainly know the plot. I heard that Ben Affleck's recent flick called Argos, or Argo, is filmed in the same manner as All the President's Men, but we shall see. Thanks again for the very awesome Universal Monsters box, Blu-ray box set. You are quite welcome, Tyler. I really appreciate the offer. It's very sad to see that some of my people of my generation are missing on these classics. Yeah, you know, um, it's not your generation, but I've got some kids that are younger than you. Uh, I guess you're about 19, I think you said. I've got um, two boys who are 14 and a boy who's 12. And um, I introduced them to The Bride of Frankenstein, and the 12-year-old loved it. The other two went off to play a video game. They didn't give it a chance. 12-year-old loved it, so I was really pleased to see that. Uh, <clears throat> but it is it is sad to see that. Next time you rewatch the box set, be sure to check the Spanish version of Dracula. I haven't done that yet. I know you mentioned that in the email. I've heard it's really good. I, a guy I work with who was like an expert on film and he used to run a movie theater. He goes to uh, a lot of uh, these classic film shows in like Boston, Massachusetts and stuff still. And he goes to uh, movie, um, I guess, conventions. 
he told me that uh, the, the Spanish version is better than the regular version, with the exception of Lugosi being, you know, the icon that he is. Uh, like most people would say, in Spanish the film is muy bien, very good, or perfecto, perfect. You're a very cool collector, Dean, thank you, and very trustworthy person, I hope so. I hope you continue to make videos as I do enjoy them a lot and find them very informative. Well, thanks, Tyler. Uh, Tyler, a.k.a. TP20. P.S. Tell your kids I say hi and also to continue to sing the Soda of the Week jingle whenever I post a Soda video. Yeah, whenever I post a Soda video. They love Soda of the Week. They sit there and Soda of the Week. Soda. Of, my wife hates it, by the way. Uh, she's like, who are these people? I'm like, oh, Tyler's pretty funny. And they love it when you drink it and it like goes all down over your shirt or down your nose or something. The one time you looked like you were going to puke and they thought that was the funniest thing ever. They were like cracking up for like days. They were going to try to reenact it and my wife was like, no, you're getting it over the floor. But um, <clears throat> yeah, they, they think you're pretty funny. They look forward to your sodas of the week, so please continue them. Well, let's see how well the inside is. I see you package this thing additionally. You've got uh, what well, looks like... Uh, I'm gonna guess it's in the inside of a, of a, what like what shoes would come with. That's that kind of material. How close am I? This looks like stuff you put in between a pair of shoes in a shoe box so they don't scratch each other. It's not bubble wrap wrap, so I I increased the uh, score from a C to a C plus. But if this was bubble wrap, I would have felt a lot better about it. So let's see. This thing was probably tossed in and turned in the package, but it did have some. Some uh, and, uh, books are fairly solid, I think. I mean, unless the thing really got the corner really got banged somehow or dropped, the corners would be the thing to worry about with a digibook. It's not going to crack. So let's see how we did here. I would say that corner looks pretty good. That corner looks pretty good. That looks pretty good, and that looks pretty good. So I would say the outside looks good from what I can tell here. <clears throat> let's see the inside now. By the way, great movie, All the Presidents, man. I've heard so many good things about it. I've seen little scenes from it uh, over the years, so I'm pretty happy to get this. And let's see. Yeah, looks great. There's the picture of the disc. I love it when, the, uh, when there's some artwork on the disc. I really don't like it when it's a plain-looking disc. I, I really do prefer artwork on the disc. Don't ask me why. It's like one of these anal things that I like. Oh, there's a nice little book. Quite a few little things in here. Tells the stars. and some nice I love this stuff. I'm a big fan of like with when I buy a CDs, music CDs or anything, or I really like to have something to hold on to when the, when the and you know it's another anal thing, something to hold on to when the movie's playing or when the music's playing. I love like the lyric sheets on the old uh, when it, back when you bought albums and I did or CDs. I do like the lyric sheets, so I know a lot of people like to download off of iTunes or wherever they get their music from. Uh, but um, I'm a big fan of still buying music CDs. In fact, I bought one today that I'm going to show a little bit on another video. Well, Tyler, uh, thank you. I'm pleased that I traded uh, what I traded to you for this. Um, I hope you like it. You know, you, you got uh, generally a more expensive item. And, of course, the criterion is always considered to be somewhat collectible and go up in value. But you know what? I love these digi books. I love this movie. I love these two stars. So I'm not regretting this trade at all. In fact, I think it was a very fair trade. On both of our ads, and I, I know I'll be pleased to add this to my collection of digi books because I do have quite a few of those. Next to my Criterion's, my digi books are my favorites, more so than steel books. Uh, I really do enjoy them, so I know I'm going to enjoy this. And this is one my wife said she'd watch, so ding ding, big bonus points for that because she's, you know, uh, it, it, and it's important when you're in a relationship to kind of, you know, share the wealth and have similar interests. So a lot of movies I like, she doesn't have any interest in watching. Um, but this is one she said she'd watch, so thanks for that. So I'm very pleased with it. I hope you're pleased with what I sent you. You should be getting it soon. It went out yesterday, priority, in a box, by the way, a priority box. So that should travel pretty well as opposed to an envelope. But this one traveled well, so I've got no complaints. So even though the packaging was bad, I say the condition is an A. Your communication was an A. And uh, your note was an A. So overall, pretty good score. Great movie. Good trade. Real happy with it. All the President's Men on Digibook. Robert Redford, Paul Newman, back when they were both pretty young guys. The story of the Watergate break-in. Uh, Carl Woodward and... No, Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein. I don't know which, who plays which, but... One, um, they broke the story, along with... the. Somebody called Deep Throat, which was an inside informer. That was the name they gave them. And 
It's just a great movie. All right, guys. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks for the trade. Look forward to doing other ones with you. And um, until the next time, guys, take care. Dean or the Dean of DVD. Take care.